What's up boys, today we're going to be doing a player review on Fantasy Foot Jimenez. This card actually looks really good. I've used him in game a fair amount in champs, in rivals, and I can tell you he does outperform the stats. He has 84 pace, 91 defending, 85 physical, but he feels so good in game. He's so responsive. It feels like the best thing about him is definitely the defense, which is obviously the 91, the highest stat on the card, but this guy does not miss a tackle. You press circle, you slide in, you are going to win the ball, and you are going to make things happen, go from a defense to attack, and it's going to be absolutely incredible. And with that, this guy being Atletico Madrid, I think he is definitely due for an upgrade. I don't know if he'll get all three overall upgrades to a 93, but he is definitely going to get an overall, a one, plus one overall upgrade and probably a plus two overall upgrade. But since it's Atletico Madrid, I think they can keep a clean sheet as well. So he might get the three. And this card has a 93. If he gets bumped up to 87, 87 pace and 94 defending, that would be very, very good for this card. He is medium high, which is the best work rates for center backs. I feel like a lot of center backs this year have medium high work rates, and it's so much better than other years. There's been so many high mediums in previous years, but this year the medium high is really what works. He's 6'1", which is definitely a good height. I think it's a good balance between size and agility. A lot of the best center backs this year are, but I would say, between 6'2 and 5'10". That's sort of like the golden range. Anything above that or anything below that tends to get a bit shaky, but we'll take a look at his in-game stats real quick. And one thing we love about this card is acceleration is higher than the sprint speed. We know the acceleration is only higher by one. The acceleration is 85 and the sprint speed is 84, but it being higher just makes him feel a little bit quicker, a little bit faster. And taking a look at the passing sets, he actually doesn't have bad passing in-game. His passing felt pretty good. Uh, definitely hit a couple pa uh, low driven passes and those got intercepted, but that's not so much to do with Jimenez as a card, but the passing in this game is just atrocious. 77 short passing, 74 long passing is definitely good enough. I wouldn't recommend touching it with, with the chem style. I think it's good enough where it is. And one thing about this card that I really liked is he has good reaction. He's got 86 reactions, 84 composure. He's got high stats in important places, if that makes any sense. The good stats he has, like, he has good ratings in good places. He's got good shot power, even though that's not really relevant, but still good to have. Taking a look at the defensive stats, 89 interceptions, 88 heading accuracy, 92 defensive awareness, 92 standing tackle, and 91 slide tackle. This is what I'm talking about, this card being super good on the defensive end. Sort of very good one-on-one. -on -one. His interceptions aren't great, but center backs in this game don't tend to intercept a lot because it's a lot of isolation play from attackers, a lot of left stick dribbling on the edge of the box or outside the box on the wings and then cutting inside. So having a player that can sort of jockey with them left and right and then make make a tackle is good. Just waiting for the moment. The best thing to do with this card, I think, or what worked for me in game was when you're oh, yeah! jockeying on a player that's left stick dribbling on the edge of the box, just waiting for a moment for that ball and then just pressing circle. I don't like this standing tack standing tackle a lot with players but this guy standing tackle was so good he won the ball so frequently that it just felt necessary to to, to press it just to use the the feature and it, it worked really really well one thing that this card it, it is a good card for the price of eighty thousand coins which can get an upgrade he's a very very good card he is he does have good links not great nationality links but i, I don't think it really matters but Atletico Madrid has a lot of strong links at the back and in the midfield, so really, really, things work out there. You can move Joao Felix down to a, a center mid, link him up there, or Griezmann, something like that. But physical, 64 stamina. 64 stamina. I I did not know it was this bad. In game, I honestly could not tell you that he had 64 stamina. If you asked me if this card is 64 stamina after using him, I would say you're crazy. But looking at the stamina stat, I think... It's going to make you notice things that you didn't notice before while playing, which is definitely good and bad in a way, but I think he outperforms the stamina stat. It is definitely a hindrance if you're getting into foot champs, extra time, stuff like that. You're playing against a, an opponent that just loves to dribble, loves to abuse the, the little, <laughs> little skill moves. So it can become an issue there, but when I used him in game, he felt good. And I think for the price that that's just a little bit... You, some, something to expect. You got to expect a flaw. You got to expect a flaw. But the rest of the physical sets are incredible. He's got 96 jumping, 91 strength, and 94 aggression. Partially why this card is so good. 91 strength and aggression. The pairing between that, uh, strength and aggression this year is very important. I think aggression has a little bit more impact in game as opposed to players just being strong. It feels where the strength, the strength 
stat should be the one that is impacting the strength, obviously. But I feel like aggression impacts it a little bit more. But having only a, a difference of three between strength and aggression, I think is very good. I, I don't like when players have like 60 strength and 90 aggression or 90 strength and 60 aggression. It, it tends to make the card feel a little bit weird. So when they're really close together, it definitely works out a lot better. For his player traits, he has injury prone. Well, with that stamina, obviously that man is going to get injured. He's he's barely making it up the pitch at this point. And he has dives into tackle. Dives into tackle is a trait that I don't see often, but I really like it. I really like it. I feel like it works pretty well. He was making a lot of plays where he would just, in the sense, dive in and then ping the ball forward. There's a slide tackle, something like that. Or for a block. Uh, blocks are not as, as relevant this year, especially AI blocks. Even user blocks if you're using a player you can try to block a block a shot it's not as effective as in previous years so i feel like this trait definitely helps bring it back just a little bit to what it was last year not really towards last year but it just happens a bit more frequently where players tend to block shots this card i think it's something you should pick up definitely try it out if you want to try it out i would definitely try it out as it's still a 90 so when the 91 and the 92 and 93 come out and the upgrades you can sort of tell the difference, see if it's worth it price-wise, because the prices will definitely go up, I think, when these cards get upgraded. A lot of the cards' prices are incorporated already in with the upgrades, and I think this card is is like that. It, I think if it goes to a 92, he'll only go up like a couple couple thousand coins, something like that. But definitely try him out now at a 90 so you can get a feel for him, see if the upgrade actually does upgrade him. So I had the same thing with uh, Road to the Finals, Gareth Bale. As an 89, I liked the card. I thought he was good. I had him in my club. And then I still have him in my club. He's upgraded to a 91. And since he's gotten the 91 upgrade, the card has been incredible. He has gone from he's gone a, up a different level. And I think that's just you guys gotta test this card out and see if the upgrade does that. Because if the upgrade can do that, maybe that's an opportunity for invest coins, maybe resell, something like that, or just buy him for your team if you notice that he's just is another level after those couple upgrades. I think this card will stay pretty similar in performance i don't expect anything drastic change maybe the pace a little bit hopefully the stamina goes up uh chem style i think you could put an anchor on him get the stamina up a little bit or a, a sentinel to get the pace and the physical because he doesn't really need defensive stats his stats are already really good and if you're feeling crazy maybe put someone on the passing i don't know if you if you have trouble passing at the back maybe that's something that you could do but i definitely recommend anchor as the first chem style and then Sen sentinel or the one that goes the pace and the physical as the as the second option but that's going to do it for the video, boys. I hope you guys enjoyed the player review. And uh, this, this promo is actually really interesting. I really like it. So props to EA for that. Some good content we got this weekend and coming for the week. But if you guys enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.